Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Ness. If you are new to the channel, this channel provides a lot of product review, specifically footwear design, and sometimes here and there I will sneak in a couple of clothing pieces that I think they are interesting to share with you guys. And they always create a few different looks to give you guys ideas how to styling with the items. Uh, in this video, I'm not gonna do reviewing footwear or apparel, you already know the title is I'm gonna share with you guys my eyeswear collections. I already done one of the first, very first video to share with you guys my eyeswear collection in the beginning when I create this YouTube channel. This is more like the update version of that video. I think I bought quite a few pairs sunglasses in the last couple of years and I believe in the future I will continue buying more sunglasses for myself. Um, I would not recommend people to collect eyeswear in general because I don't think it's worth it. Uh, for those who are really doing it for love then go ahead continue collecting them. In my opinion I do not prioritize face shape because I think face shape is really for those who don't know what they want. In other words they don't know what their style is. Then they will use the face shape guidance for them to choose their sunglasses. But if you focus on face shape and you are a collector you're gonna end up have the entire collections gonna have the same face shape then I think that is a boring collection you know collections should have variety of different face shape different model and most importantly those shape gotta be fit into what you have in your wardrobe because picking a right classes to fit your outfit is very important as well. It will affect your entire outfit. So let's get into this 18 classes sunglasses that I have in my collections. The first one that I would like to share with you guys is this classic aviator from Gucci. Usually I'm not really into gold color frame that much because I'm not really into gold jewelry. I'm more into silver jewelry than gold. So that's why I'm not really wearing this Gucci frame even though it's a brand name who cares right? And let's go to the next one is from high tech. I bought it when I was in college year. It looked pretty good on me. Now I look at it in the mirror. I look like a Kung Fu master but blind. The blind Kung Fu master. <laughs> I recently wear them when I creating a look for the short NYC and you sell pick. Man, I'm telling you wearing a right pair of sunglasses that fit your outfit would boost up your entire outfit. And this is the frame that I bought with my younger brothers before my college year. Um, this is from the brand Retro Super Future. Back then we didn't really make any money and this shade was kind of expensive too, like $200. So we both trip in $100 to afford this shade. Um, I think it look, man, I look like a good boy. I do not like looking like a good boy now, you know, with the mustache, oh, no good. And the fourth one is this sun body shade. I found out the brand when I was traveling in Korea. Saw this shade, I really wanted to get this shade. So I was waiting for them to go on sale. And finally, I got this shade in the beginning of this year before my trip to Asia last summer. I look like I am in the Matrix movie. This one is my mom's favorite sunglasses that look on my face. And the fifth one is from Cool Broom C2. This one is not my sunglasses. This is my younger brother's sunglasses. I bought this one for him as a gift on his birthday. But I do not like this. This is not really speak for my personality that much. I feel like this type of shade a lot of celebrity into them. And the six classes in this collection is this um, Cool Broom Mask L3. Man, this is my favorite prescription classes for sure. When I wear this, I look like I'm a very intelligent guy, you know, but 
Actually, I'm not that intelligent. Let's go to the second box in my I Square collections, right? Go to this seven classes. Originally, this is the sunglasses from the collaboration between Kubrum and Julius. This is the first sunglasses that introduced me to Kubrum. I saw the runway that looked mad cool on the model, so I must buy these classes to add in my collections. It looked a little bit different. The round shape of these classes though, is not really completely round, it's a little bit distort and I like how the thick frame on this sunglasses look. Look mad good on me. Again, I look like I am an intelligent person, but I don't. And I'm not good at math, even though I'm Asian. Damn! But I'm really good at calculating to those who owe me money with these classes. So let's go to the eight in this collection is, um, this is the only transparent beige colors frame that I have in my collections. Look at this. Oof, so different, right? Man, it just, that's why I love Cobrom, man. Cobrom, the frame, they are so different. Back then, now, I mean, they are different too, but it's just too wild for me to uh, keep following their products. And the nine classes in this collection is this uh, Cobrom H91. Um, I own the white color frame in this same model, but I gave it to my uh, cousin. So that's why I end up to get myself another pair, but in different colors. I own a lot of Cobrom classes and sunglasses, so bear with me in these collections. Man, I look so handsome. Hey, young man, what's your name? My name is Nestor Fang. Oh, hell no! No, I'm joking. Um, yeah, this is my recent pick. It looks so cool. And if you like my video so far, give me a thumb up. I would truly appreciate it. And go to the number 10. This one is the frame also from Cool Broom. And it looks different too. I think the lens on this shade is purple colors. Ooh, fire. Um, I think I will wear this classes from Cobra more often because I left it too long for one or two years I haven't really rocked this sunglasses and the next one the number 11 right this is more like a club master type of model but from Cobra they look oof man look at myself right now I'm feeling it I'm feeling good Clubmaster looks so good on me. Not like the traditional Clubmaster, those are cool, but it's not really speak for my personality that much. So that's why I picked this one from Cool Broom. I love to wear this type of Clubmaster when I wear like button up shirt with the biker leather jacket. With this classes from Cool Broom, it looks very good. This is more like my uh, polite type of style. Huh? When I wear this classes and go to the 12 sunglasses in my collections it's also from Cobra this one is more like man very futuristic this sunglasses will get you a lot of attention it's so different man look at this frame outside and the round frame in the inside looks so cool I just share with you guys my fashion kind of style based type of sunglasses lasses. Now let's get into the performance sunglasses that I recently really get into. First is this District Vision. Um, the name of this model is called Koharu. Um, this is the collaboration between Certified Running and District Vision. Man, this looks so damn cool. Oof. 
This distribution pair of sunglasses though this fit me the best out of all the three performance sunglasses I'm gonna share with you guys. Okay, let's go to the second one. On this is this performance sunglasses. I don't know if this is the performance sunglasses or just fashion based because it's a collaboration between Mikita and Mason Madrala. Man, the fitting on this is horrible. It's a little bit loose for me. So when you do a lot of like intensity sprinting or do like uh, jumping, this is the shade that I need the rubber strap for my frame. Uh, so it's gonna help me to keep my sunglasses in place when I run on this or jumping on this. And also uh, the detail that I like about this frame is they make out of wood. So that's why uh, this shade is really light. And next is my reason to go to pair of sunglasses when I go for a run. It's this Oakley Sub-Zero from the Recover Collections. I love this shade, man. It's so different from a lot of performance shade in the market. You know, Sub-Zero, they always have very interesting shape from the classic Sub-Zero into now more like a, this one is the modern Sub-Zero. They look so different. And this model, they actually have a collaboration with Satify Running as well. Those are fire. However, though, the fit on this sunglasses for me though, is not that good. It's kind of loose. That's why I have the strap in the back to keep me that snug fit when I do running. I look like I came from the future. And last one on this list is the shade that I got from H&M. Love this uh, gradient colors in the lens. And also I love this off-white frame. The reason why I bought this performance sunglasses from H&M is I want to see the differences between the fast fashion performance analysis with the other performance analysis that I have in my collections. So far, I think the aesthetic on this analysis, they look mad good on me, you know? Um, the look alone already gonna boost up my confidence when I wear this analysis, go for a run. And there you go, what you think about my eye square collections? Um, I do not recommend people to collect sunglasses, glasses, because they are not really worth it. But if you have the passion for it, go for it. And which shade that look the best on me in my eyeswear collections? Comment below in the comment sections and subscribe to my channel for more video. I have a lot of video coming up every single week and I can wait to share with you guys. And do not forget to keep me more thumb up. That is my only wish for this Christmas.